All right, uh, number eight asks us to find the fifth term in this sequence. Uh, 11, negative 44, positive 176, et cetera. So um, notice that this is a geometric sequence because we're not adding the same number to get to the next term. We're multiplying by the same number to get to the next term. And to figure out what number that is, we'll just take the second term, negative 44, and divide it by the first. Uh, so negative 44 divided by 11 is negative 4. And we can confirm that that is the common ratio by multiplying negative 4 times negative 44. Uh, and in fact, we do get uh, positive 176. So the next two terms in this sequence we can find by m continuing to multiply by negative 4. So uh, 176 times negative 4 is going to be uh, 700, negative 704. And then uh, negative 704 times negative 4 is going to be positive 2,816. And since we were just asked for the fifth term, uh, that is going to be the answer, uh, 2,816. Uh, another way that we can do this, and I'll show you this just in case we get something if it asks for, say, the 80th term, uh, what we would want to do rather than finding all of the terms between here and the 80th term would be to uh, write this as a, 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 an explicit formula. So the explicit formula for a geometric sequence is a sub n equals uh, the first term times uh, the uh, common ratio taken to the n minus 1 power. Uh, so in this case, the first term is 11. Uh, the common ratio is negative 4. And we're going to take that uh, to the n minus 1 power. And so to find the fifth term, we plug in 5 for r. We get negative 4 times 5 minus 1, and uh, which is, of course, just 4. And if we plug that into the calculator, we're going to get 2,816.